So from here, this is logarithm. It is more convenient if you take C to be in logarithm form. So I'm going to take C1 to be minus 2 ln K1. Minus 2 was put there so that this one would be gone. C2 would be taken to be minus 2 ln of K2. From this, if you take exponential all over the place, you will get equation here to be 1 minus half xa equal to k1 power of z times k2. And in this equation, there's two variables, k1 and k2. Therefore, you need two boundary conditions. And normally, boundaries would be along the rim of your system. Your system is a film itself, so that your boundaries in this, there are two obvious boundaries at z equal to 0 and z equal to delta. Okay? So the first boundary at z equal to 0, what do we have? At least from this picture, this one comes from the fluidized bed reactor. The concentration of A in the bulk supposed to be equal to concentration of A going into the reactor. That one's supposed to be no number. Okay? So let's say at this point, XA is equal to XA0. This would become our first boundary, boundary condition. At z equal to 0, this one becomes 1, and therefore you have k2 equal to 1 minus half xa0. The second boundary will come from the surface of the catalyst itself as z equal to delta. What do we have at this part? Now it depends on the rate of reaction because concentration of A at this point really depends on rate of reaction. If the reaction takes place instantaneously, that means it takes place extremely fast, it means that as soon as, as the molecule of A reach the surface of catalyst, it will be consumed right away. <coughs> So therefore, concentration of A on the surface of catalyst become zero. Okay? Let's assume that first for the moment. If you assume that the rate reaction is extremely fast, then XA at the surface becomes zero. This one for fast reaction. Okay. So for z equal to delta x a equal to zero, you will have k one times power of delta times k two, k two which is one minus half of x a zero is equal to one. So then you can solve for k one, plug k one and k two back to original equation you get concentration profile. So from here, you will have 1 minus half xa equal to 1 minus half xa 0 to the power of 1 minus z over delta. That's our concentration profile. All right. Any question? Can you do it by yourself? This is considered very simple problem, straightforward. 
Okay. Now, the objective of this problem is not finding the concentration profile. You know, who cares? Who cares about concentration of A within the very thin film? Doesn't matter. You you can not even prove it, right? What we what we care the most would be consumption rate of A or the rate that A is consumed. Okay. In this case, I need to explain this. You need to understand this. In the process, in this process here, there are two things occurring at the same time. First, you have catalyst Right? In the bulk, you have A. Before A can reach the catalyst, A must be transferred from bulk through the film to the surface first. The process itself is mass transfer. Or mass transport transported from bulk gas to the surface of the catalyst. Okay? Then the next step, the first is mass transport. The second step is there'll be reaction here. In here, there'll be reaction. How fast this reaction takes place is determined by its kinetics. Okay? So the whole process is consisting of two steps mass transfer and kinetics. And as you learn in kinetics, whenever you have process consisting of several steps, the step which is the slowest determine the rate, the overall rate of the process. Right? We talk about rate limiting steps in kinetics. So if you say that this process, the overall process here, is consisting of two steps, if the reaction is slower than mass transfer, then the problem or the overall rate is limited by the kinetics. But if the mass transfer is slower than the reaction, and therefore the whole process is limited by mass transfer. Okay? So you may have two kinds of problems. The first one is mass transfer limit. process. And the second one would be kinetics limit process. As the engineer, we want the overall rate to be as fast as possible. So we want to do anything to speed up the process. And you know that whenever you have more than one step, in order to speed up the overall process, you need to accelerate the rate limiting step, right? So if the process is mass transfer limit, no matter how fast the reaction, it doesn't matter. The process will, will be limited by mass transfer. If you want the process to be faster, you need to supply mass to the catalyst faster. The way to do it is to increase the velocity so that the thickness of the film resistance becomes smaller or increase the driving force for mass transfer. Driving force for mass transfer would be concentration difference. So from this picture, if this part is bulk, this part is film. Driving force for diffusion would be difference in concentration from here to there. 
if you want mass transfer to be speeded up, you need to increase the concentration difference. So, increase the concentration in bulk or decrease the resistance. The way to decrease the resistance is to flow the, the flow, flow the gas faster, so that resistance film will become thinner. Okay? On the other hand, if the problem is limited by kinetics, in order to speed up the whole process, you need to speed up kinetics and it depends on activation energy. Normally, in order to speed up the kinetics, you must increase the temperature. <coughs> All right. Now, the problem which is kinetic limit means that this step is the slowest. Okay? And therefore, it does not matter how fast mass transfer is. As long as the mass transfer is slower than reaction here. So, this kind of problem you are already learned from kinetics. But these problems you have not learned it yet. Because in kinetics, kinetics assume that there will be no mass transfer. There is nothing to do with mass transfer. In other words, the rate of reaction is the determining step. Okay? But for this course for transport phenomena, you need to consider mass transfer as well. If the mass transfer is limiting steps, that means the overall process here, the, the speed of the overall process depends on the how fast you can supply A to the surface. All right. So, therefore, right now at this problem, we assume that reaction here is extremely fast. So fast that the concentration of A on the catalyst becomes zero. That means the overall rate of production of B or rate of consumption of A would equal to rate of mass transfer of A, right? So, if you say that overall rate depends on rate limiting steps, in this case mass transfer is rate limiting steps. Therefore, overall rate is determined or equal to flux of mass transfer. Okay? So, if we are interested in rate of consumption of A, for this problem it is NAZ. And NAZ is represented here. How can we find NAZ? You can first thing is take concentration profile, differentiate it with respect to Z and plug it back here. Also plug XA here down there. Then you can rearrange and determine NAZ. Right? That's one way to do it. But there is another way. This way, many students would follow this path. Got the concentration profile and then take this, replace it here, differentiate it, replace it there, then calculate it, the equation. But you can see that it is quite complicated. Differentiation of power here is not fun. There is another way. Along the way, when we derive that equation,